Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React.js course. In this video, we will try to see about the 404 page. How to add the 404 not found page in the website, web, in the React router web application, we will try to see. Normally, if you try to see any other applications, if you go to some other application, something like uh, google.com, google.com slash some, some URL, if you try to press enter, so you will be able to see this 404, okay, 404 page. So why this 404 page will occur is so if you are trying to access a page that is not available in the react routing in the routing not react in in routing so then we will be showing our custom 404 page instead of the standard 404 page which is provided by the browser we will be designing our own custom 404 page so for that reason we will be adding the 404 page for example here if i am adding i am having only the home about contact and the posts only other than the posts for example if i want to access something like profile or any page so this page is not there this page is not available actually this routing is not there in my website in my react application so how can i show my custom page such that so this page is not available please go to home page or somewhere that like that if you want to show me how we can add this 404 page let's try to see here in this in this one we are having already right actually we are having one option something like redirect so here we used to have some redirect from okay from slash if you are selecting this instead of this route thing so redirect from slash to what it will go it will it will do to slash post okay so previously we used to have this redirect thing so we can add this redirect thing so we we'll, let's try to add this redirect thing i forgot to commit i think the previous code okay so now if i try to see the home page if i go to the con sorry If I try to go to the contact page, about page, and a home page, so automatically it will go to the post page, right? So if I try to add something gibberish here, so that means any prof any URL that is not available. See, if I try to add something uh, unknown URL, it is directly redirecting redirecting to the post page. Why this is happening is, if you try to see here in the in the redirect, so if any of this route doesn't match, automatically it will go to the post page. Why? Because this slash will be able to match everywhere. So for example if i if i try to do here slash post means so here the slash will be there so the slash will be the default thing as we have already discussed in the routing concept so now what we can do it here so first we let's try to write add the 404 page before right before uh, seeing this one so how we can add the 404 pages so here route okay route path is equal to we need to mention star so other than the paths which are not matched above so this star means any man, any path any path other than this above path so star then render i can add something like render here i can add do not found page okay i can add it here not found page something like this so i can remove this extra do so that it will be very fine so now if i try to add it here so the route and here i will close this do so editor problem i think so it is uh, not showing actually it is not able to realize so okay so now what i have did so route path is equal star very any path any path so then render not found page so for example if i try to refresh this one and if i go here if i try anything still i am going to the post page why this is happening is as we already discussed so here only the switch case in the switch case it is stopping so what can i do here is i can do the exact match so if it is exactly the home page only then redirect to the post page other than the home page if it is coming means go go down to the bottom now if i try to see the output now i will able to see the not found page right so now we are able to successfully see this not found page now if i mention this one what i can say here at the top you need to remember the order order is very important you cannot mention directly redirect at the top why because so if it is if you, if you don't mention the exact and if you mention at the top all the time it will be redirecting indirect re, indirect reflect so indefinite redirect it will be happen okay so if you mention this root path at the top here so now any path any path if you are typing any path here it will go to the not found page so here if you try to see the about contact home everything if you try to see everything will be the not found page why because here the first itself the route is matching here so that is the reason the switch is going back so that is the reason you need to remember you need to mention this not found page at the bottom of the route okay the order is the main concern in any language in angular view react everywhere order is the main concern you, uh, you already know this one 
this is the thing so and also what we can do is instead of doing this render we can also design a create a separate component also for example here i can create a component is equal to before writing this component what i will try to do is i will try to create a component not found so here i can create not found dot js here i will write export function not found props so in this props what i can do return view not found page from component so whatever the design you want you can write it here now here what i can do is you are already exporting right so here i can use something like not found so let's try yeah so i can add the route not found so let's try to see here if i go to contact and everything is working if i write something gibberish here i will be able to see that it is not found page from the component okay we are successfully able to do this not found page so here if you observe the redirect the route like this we will be mentioning so now if you mention this term is you already know that it will automatically always it will load if you mention it at the top so this is how we will be mentioning the routing not found page we will be designing this one and also another thing what you need to remember is uh, some people asking me about the routing so whatever the routing guards in the react js actually there is no separate supply, separate implementation in the routing js routing guards actually in angular in view if you try to see they will be having in the view js can root loop can root enter this type of routes we will see and uh, before enter something like that we will be able to have the routing guards if you try to see in the documentation you will be seeing and in the angular if you try to see you will be having something like can activate can activate child can deactivate this type of the uh, routing guards will be there so before entering into the route if you want to do any par par particular actions or anything but in the react js what we can say is there is no separate implementation like that so how we can implement the routing guards so here is a simple representation so here the routing uh, react js routing is itself is a different type of component type of implication implementation if you see in the previous uh, uh, course, uh, previous languages or anything frameworks so if you try to see there you will be having a separate routing file so there you will be mentioning the routing file but in the react js if you want to mention the route nested route means you go to that particular component and you mention the route whatever the nested route so inside this nested routes if you want means you go inside this nested route and you mention these all things so like this implementation you will be able to see so here if you want to mention the route guard means so i will tell you the basic outflow how we can mention the route guards here for example you have something like is authenticate okay i am creating so let is authenticate so we will try to write these all type of things also in the future uh, when we are doing authentication also but i am showing you how we can write the routing guards is authenticate so a spelling mistake total spelling mistake here okay so i think it's correct one is authenticate yeah so this is authenticate for example it is a false then i want to check this slash about page so if slash about page okay if the slash about page if it is authenticated only i need to show that routing or otherwise i need to redirect it to somewhere else or something like that. okay so now what i can do redirect it to uh, what i can say some other page or something like that okay let's assume so what i can do here here if i try to see if i try to show if condition so we can write the if condition so is authenticate okay is authenticate if it is is authenticate so what i can write here ampersand ampersand i can write the ampersand ampersand and here i can load this component directly so that means if it is is authenticated only then add this root otherwise don't add this root so here if you try to see so if you try to see here if i go to the about see you are getting not found page why because this route is not available this is going to the not found page or otherwise if you want to load another something like uh, you want to redirect or something like you want to do is you can also implement this one so path is equal to slash about means load this another component something like that also you can maintain and another one what we can do is so another one what we can do is so here if i maintain it as a true so now if you try to see if i go to the about page so now we am able to see the i am able to load the about page directly this all depends actually this all depends on the uh, how you write the code so we will try to implement the routing guards these all what we can say is there is no separate implementation type of things what we have discussed in the previous uh, frameworks so we will be writing our own uh, logic wise of things so we'll discuss this way routing guards also how we can implement in easier way just i am showing you how we can implement the routing guards in the react js means by using this type of conditions only you will be implemented okay 
in the future we will try to see when we are doing the authentication then we will try to see how we can implement the routing guards also okay hope you understood about this 404 page and the only thing what is uh, remaining is i think about the lazy loading uh, route how, how we can load the lazy loading so using the what we can say react.lazy react.suspense these things we need to discuss so we will discuss these things also then afterwards we will move it into the redux concept so this is also one of the important concept using this redux we will implement the authentication and all those things hope you understood about this 404 page if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you